So how do you do Etsy product research to know exactly what to sell on Etsy right now? How do you figure out if you're making something that someone would actually want to buy? This is something that we should be asking ourselves if we're starting a new Etsy shop. If you're new to the e-commerce or Etsy selling world, this is one of the best strategies you can start with. I remember when I first started years ago, this is something that I did do. And long story short, the shop didn't work out just because I didn't fully understand the market and what customers truly wanted in a product. But now this is a process that I do all the time and I've been able to run multiple successful Etsy shops full time. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on different tools that I use to help validate different product ideas, just so that you can have the best chance of success selling on Etsy. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different tools that I've been using a lot lately on the whole product researching phase. The first one I'm going to show you is called Sales Samurai, and they have a website where you can check out the different tools like the keyword researching, finding out the search volume, the click through rate, finding out the competition, which are very all important things. And there's a lot of videos about this on YouTube you can find from other people. But I, I want to show you a specific tool that they have, which is this Chrome extension. OK, so the two the two tools I'll be showing you in this video are both Chrome extension tools. And it's just a quick way to streamline the whole process into using Etsy search straight from here and finding out products that works for you. OK, so first thing you're going to need to do is just download this. And by the way, I have the links for the two tools in the description that you can use and you can check it out from there. But first, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. And a lot of the audience I have in my channel, we like to sell digital products because it's such a good way to generate passive income. And you where you just create the product once and it just sells forever. Maybe it's a printable, maybe it's some type of template, maybe it's some print on demand, maybe hoodies or shirts. So we can start with very generic keywords. And then from here, we're going to narrow it down to get more niche products. So the first one, let's do digital planner, because I know that's a popular one. And as you see right here, this blue text, the search volume and the more, this is the, the sales time, right? Chrome extension tool. Okay. It automatically gets input hit, so you can right away see the actual monthly search volume, which is a great intel to see how much demand there is. Okay, so there's the area that's the demand, and then there's the supply, and which is here it's labeled as competition. Okay, so those are two that we really want to dissect when we're starting out this researching phase. All right, so let's say cool digital planners is still a very generic term. We want to use this and then see how it goes. And over here we're gonna click on to the more button, and right here it automatically pops up the sales samurai chrome extension tool and i show you keyword list keyword suggestion page and if you call, let me see if i can zoom in more hopefully it's better for people watching it from from their mobile phones okay so if you come down here we search digital planner and you're going to get obviously these kind of error based ones with all search volumes but we want to start looking at these ones see what we can find in here that has that's related to digital planners possibly and also has a good high search volume, but a low competition. Okay. So this is what I mean by supply and demand ratio. So you want a high demand over here and a low supply option. Okay. Meaning competition, the lower the supply means it's you know, better for you to, to come up and uh, showcase your products. Okay. So we come down here. Let's see what we find. Digital planners is still very generic. So no one really searches this because this is very vague. Like what, what kind of digital planner are you trying to find? So obviously just low searching, but high competition. Come down here, iPad digital planner. Okay, a thousand searches, but forty thousand competition, not great. ADHD digital planner. Okay, so this is getting a lot more niche. Same searches, but way less competition. So this is a pretty good one, right? So ideally, if you can, you can find something that's maybe a one to one ratio is probably the best option you can get, or if not, you know, even better. But this is actually still a really good ratio from search and and at demand. Okay, undated planner digital. I'm, I'm really looking at this one for now. This is one, something I'm going to just put a little check mark there to keep a note on. And you just go down the list, see what you can find. But uh, I don't want to make this video too long because I want to go through the other <laughs> tool as well. But now let's just go back to ADHD Digital Planner, okay? Because this is a pretty good one to start. So now let's come back out here onto the search and let's just do ADHD. Because now we went from Digital Planner and now we've we broken down to a more niche category, which is people serving products for people might have HDHD to help them with that. So we're going to search that 200 volume because no one really searches this. They need some kind of secondary keyword for it. So we're going to 
continue and click on more again. And let's, let's bring it down some more and see what we can find. And over here, you can always do a filter. If you want to filter out, let's say, using the word planner within HDHD, then we can do that. So let's try planner. So the search is for ADHD, but it's only going to filter out ones with planner because that's kind of what we do. So you come down here, ADHD digital planner this is the first one. Planner printable. Okay, so maybe this is another good one. The ratio is not as good, but honestly, this is still a really good one to find at this time. Daily. Daily is good for adults. Okay, so this might give you some ideas. Maybe you want to start a full shop creating ADHD products. I mean, if you're someone that's really knowledgeable in that category and you know how to help people in this in this field, then perfect, right? Planner for kids, ADHDs. Honestly, we kind of just did a dive on digital planners and this is kind of category found and you know how long did this take you can do this a bunch of different times a bunch of different categories and see what works so now that the first part is through identifying what keywords work in terms of supply and demand in terms of how much competition how saturated something is now we want to know how much people actually make from this right because you can have a product that maybe is really good in this area the search volume and competition but i actually want to know how much i could possibly make Right? On the business side of things, I want to know these things before jumping into it, before investing a lot of time into a certain shop. Okay, so this is where we're going to jump into the second tool. All right, so the second tool I want to show you is Everbee. And I'm sure you're probably aware of this, this Chrome extension tool. I've been mentioning quite a bit lately, but I am a, honestly a huge fan of them. And like again, there's a link in the description. So if you want to use their services, but they also have a free version if you want to start with that. But yeah, once you install their Chrome extension tool, I just went back to Etsy and I searched ADHD planner. And from here on the left hand side, you're going to click on, click on analytics and let it just scrape through the data through this page and through all the listings here. And this, you know, get a better idea of how much people actually make on here. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you're learning some things from this, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about how to be successful on Etsy, and at, let me know if you have any questions about this. Okay, now that it's kind of pretty much loaded. What we want to do is filter out the revenue part because I want to see what listings make most. Okay. And keep in mind, this is all of this is just based on the first page. So you might want to break this down into the first page, second page, third page, just to see all the different listings and options out there. Okay. I'm going to move this over here. I'll cover up, cover up this lady over here. Maybe make it a little smaller. Yeah. Okay. So let's see ADHD planner adults. This is a good one to look at. And let's see, you can see the pricing you can see their estimated monthly sales. And look at this, like you can see their, es their estimated monthly revenue. Like it's pretty crazy. Almost $2,000 USD a month from one listing. So imagine you have multiple listings like this. That's kind of crazy, but keep in mind, most shops, they might have a couple MVP products, right? Not all of them will be making $2,000 a month. So you want to use the same tool again on the, on the shop to see if this is their best seller which we can do right after this as well. But yeah, if you, you keep looking down, you can also click into them and see, this is still loading, so wait a bit, but yeah, you can see a lot more about the tags. You can see their titles. And this is also a very important one, the listing age. But looking at things like this, it's like, it's crazy how much people can make from it. It's such a niche category that I wasn't even aware of that we just did it recently. But once it's loaded, I'll, we can dissect it more and look into it. All right, it's finally loaded. I swear my internet is a little slow right now. But also, I just want to mention one thing. I, from my previous videos, I had some comments talking about the audio quality. So I kind of have this new mic that I've been using. And hopefully it's better. Let me know if it is better or not, because I'm still getting used to like, you know, the whole YouTube setup and everything, trying to provide you guys with the best quality videos. But I know it's like kind of the start right now. So hopefully it does improve over time. And I, I do appreciate everyone, you know, letting me know and giving me constructive feedback about the uh, channel itself. So truly appreciate it. And I just want to thank every single one of you guys for supporting this. But yes, moving forward, you can also click into it. Like I mentioned before, looking at the tags, the titles, maybe this is something that you want to try looking into. You can click into it, which will open up the listing as bestseller, obviously, right? It's $2,000 a month from one listing, which is crazy. And you can take a look. Okay, cool. This is how much that they're offering. It's definitely a lot of work to put into, but you know, you just create this once and that could do really well. And like I mentioned before, you can click into their actual shop itself and uh, we can take a look and see if this is their bestseller. Right from the page, you can do the analytics and search from there.
All right, so now that we've analyzed their shop itself through Everbee, we can see every single product here, how much they're making. And this is the top one that we looked at earlier, but here's another one, maybe a similar product, also almost $2,000 a month. Some are 800, 600, 300, right? So on and so forth. There's always obviously only going to be a couple that are the best sellers, but still like this is a shop that's doing extremely well. And what we want to do now that we are breaking down this category, maybe this is something that we want to do. And, and then we can take a look, we can look at their listings and all of this, what I'm trying to say is, let me just make this bigger, but what I'm trying to say about in this video and what I want to show you guys is we're not trying to copy them or anything. We're not trying to do that. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is see the category. Now we understand that ADHD products, planners is something that works. It's something that could sell really well on Etsy, making three, $4,000 a month for a certain shop. So now we, we know that works. We're going to create products around it and not similar to this, but maybe something better than this. Maybe we can play. Like, okay, cool. They, they offer all these different stickers and stuff, but what else can we add to contribute that's better than this? Right? So we definitely always want to improve what's existing. That's the only way that we can be more successful and be unique. So, cause we don't always want to do the same thing. We don't want to reinvent the entire wheel and create a, a new product category that doesn't exist. That doesn't work. We want to have the best of both worlds. We want to know what's working and create something that is either a better value or just a better type of proposition compared to what's already out there. Okay. So that's something that I want to make sure that we, we know moving forward is for me, that's kind of how, how it's been working is uh, just always remixing on what's working and, and improving on that to create a better product for the consumers out there. And they will notice that once, if you do have something that is better than let's say the bestseller here. Okay. And uh, so yeah, hopefully you kind of have a new way of your thought process, something different that you can think about and be mindful of moving forward, getting examples from other sellers on Etsy and see how we can create and approve upon on it. Okay. And that's it for the video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I know this might be a little bit longer than the normal, but uh, yeah, check them out. Everbee and Sales Samurai. These are two amazing platforms that you can use in your arsenal, in your toolbox. And it's something that I use all the time, uh, along with like E-Rank and Marmalade. These are other ones I I haven't mentioned in this video, but I just want to keep this one into Chrome extension tools. Okay. So check it out in the link below and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.